Hey guys, it's Greg. I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you ever ask yourself if you're wrong? Do you really analyze your own arguments and think, eh, maybe I wasn't right about that? In the five ways to reason better video, we talked about one of the ways is to invert some things, flip some stuff, change one part of the story and see if it still makes sense. Well, today I'm going to revisit a position that I had, reverse something and see if I was wrong. I made a video recently about the show She-Hulk and why it is complete garbage, one of the worst television shows I've ever seen, with some of the worst writing that I've ever seen. And some people are saying that people with my opinion, we just don't like female superheroes. We just don't like strong female characters, female leads. And if it was a man, we would feel different. And I want to take a look at that. And so the comparison that I'm going to go with is the 1985 So Bad It's Good classic Commando starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the reason I'm picking this is because the writing is similarly bad in Commando. I complained that in She-Hulk, the writing was just terrible. She was kind of a Mary Sue, just overcomes every challenge effortlessly, learns nothing. There's no growth, there's no challenge. The dialogue is terrible, on and on and on, right? Commando, I'm choosing because it's similarly really, really bad. Schwarzenegger's character, John Matrix, overcomes zero challenges. As a matter of fact, I went back and watched. This is the one that's got that scene that you've probably seen. He's in like a garden and he's just got the giant gun and he's just mowing people down and guys are like popping out of bushes to shoot at him and they instantly get shot and they do the shoulder shot thing, right? And it's just, you know, he doesn't even get hit one time. He doesn't even bleed in this movie. He's just oiled up and muscly and just kills like seven dozen people effortlessly. The dialogue is pretty classic 80s action movie Schwarzenegger. It's very, very, very bad. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. Uh, there is a uh, guy actually wearing chainmail armor for some reason. So a lot going on with this movie. So what's the big difference between these two? Why don't people hate Commando and movies like it? the way that they hate She-Hulk and Rings of Power and a lot of modern female-led movies? Well, the number one reason is intention. Commando was made with one thing in mind, and that was entertaining you, the audience. Some of the things that are in there are bad, but they don't even care because the point was to give you an entertaining experience. She-Hulk was written to send you a message about progressive social politics. Shows like She-Hulk put the message first, front and center, and everything around it is kind of slapped on haphazardly just to sort of give a semblance of a plot. These shows never make sense. They're never entertaining because that is not their primary goal. Their primary goal is to send you that message. These transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Message! Now, there's a lot about Commando that doesn't make sense. A lot of things are just silly, but those were overlooked on purpose to go with something that was more entertaining for you, the audience. If you want to try to get Freudian and diagnose Commando and say that there's some kind of subconscious macho male power fantasy message, I'm sure you could make a convincing argument, but that wasn't the primary goal. She-Hulk, on the other hand, that is the goal. That's not just obvious by watching the show. The interviews with the writers and the showrunners show that that was their intention to give you this female power message. Shows and movies that try so hard to give you a message just do not work. They are garbage every single time because the story gets lost, the writing gets lost, everything comes second to that message and it is so ham-fisted and it beats you over the head that the show never works. Now, here again, we wanna apply this introspection, swap things technique to see do I dislike movies and shows that try to send a message or do I just dislike this social justice message? I know for a fact that I don't like movies with a message even when I agree with them because I have seen a lot of Kirk Cameron movies and they suck. Hot dumpster fire garbage. Kirk, I'm so sorry. I love you. It, the movies suck because they put this message first and they try to shoehorn everything around it. And again, this is a message that I agree with. I'm a Protestant. The gospel of Jesus Christ is incredible. It's life-changing. It's powerful. It is not entertaining. When you try to make an entertaining movie around that message, it's going to fail every single time. And everything in a Kirk Cameron movie is so contrived to fit that message. And they never make any sense. They're not entertaining. The only people that say they like them are church folks because they just want to support that message. Christian. Look me in the eyes and tell me that Fireproof was a good movie. And do not lie, the Lord is 
watching. To be fair, there are only two exceptions to this rule, Evan Almighty and the Prince of Egypt. Have you seen the Prince of Egypt? It's not really like a Jesus Christ movie because it is Old Testament, but the, the animation, the music, oh my goodness. Soundtrack to this movie is incredible. All I ever wanted through heaven's eye is banger after banger in this movie. Look at your life through heaven's eyes. And Evan Almighty, look, anything with Steve Carell is going to be better. Michael Gary Scott makes everything better. But those are the only two. Everything else sucks. It's not just that there's this message front and center. I mean, that's the most obvious thing, the reason that these movies are usually terrible. The other issue is that they think it's interesting to subvert cultural norms. That's part of the message, is that there should be new cultural norms, but they think that just the reversing is somehow interesting. When there is a strong female character with weak male characters, they think that's interesting because it's different than what we're used to. When a an all-male team of heroes is suddenly an all-female team, they think that's interesting just because they flipped something. This just isn't true. Sometimes subverting an idea can be interesting if you really expand it. Uh, the man in the high, high castle did a really good job at this. They didn't just ask the question, hey, what if the Germans won World War II? They really expanded and fleshed out a world where that was a reality and it became interesting. One of the big problems with subverting these traditional ideals of good and bad is that the audience a lot of times can't connect with it if it goes too far. In Commando, we have, well, it was written in the 80s and we have a former military guy Military support was huge in the 80s. It was a slam dunk at that time to think that people would just connect with this former soldier. Also, he's a dad and his daughter gets kidnapped. Dad saves daughter from the bad guys is a common good guy theme. Nobody is confused by that. Everybody can connect with that. The problem with a lot of modern female power fantasies is people don't immediately innately connect with that. And I'm not saying that that is wrong. I'm just saying the audience doesn't immediately get it. She-Hulk and others don't do a good enough job explaining why that should be normal. They just show it and they think that you go along. And a lot of times the audience just doesn't. Uh, for example, if I was making a movie and I had a guy on screen in a Nazi uniform, you would know that's a bad guy. I don't need to do a flashback to World War II. I don't have to explain Nazi Germany. Everybody knows the swastika means bad guy. That's a bingo. <laughs> In modern social politics shows, they present things that are not social norms. She-Hulk, for example, just puts men on screen and you're supposed to just understand they're bad for no other reason than that just they are men and they're there and thus they are bad. And the audience is lost. They don't agree with this. These are not common good guy tropes that the audience can just immediately connect with. Turning one or two things over, subverting one or two expectations can add some interest. Turning over all the expectations with zero explanation or anything on screen to back up what you've done just doesn't work. The audience doesn't get it. And the ratings for these new shows shows that. Again, it's not just about the female thing. Batman versus Superman was a crap movie Fight me in the comments, that movie sucked because it started with one cool idea, which was who would win in a fight, Batman or Superman? And then apparently they forgot to write the rest of the movie. And then at the end, they were about to film and somebody was like, hey, um, do we have other lines other than just the scene where they fight? And it's very clear that they made that up the night before and wrote it on a napkin because that movie is hot garbage. They didn't even know how that fight was going to end. Their moms have the same, they, who came up with that? The purpose of a movie or show is to be entertaining. I know people want to send a message, but it's just not the right medium. People want to watch a show or a movie to be entertained. When they turn it on and there is a clear message hitting them in the face, they feel lost and sometimes they just feel betrayed because they thought they were just going to relax and watch something and now they're being preached at. If somebody's watching a documentary, they expect the message. If somebody's reading a book, they expect the message. If somebody is watching a television show or a movie, they expect entertainment. Sometimes a movie can be thought provoking, but that's only if it asks questions like Inception, for example. When a movie tells you what you need to be thinking, it's not interesting, it's not fun, and it fails pretty much every single time. So we applied some introspection techniques. We reversed a few things in the argument to see if it still holds up. It absolutely does. She-Hulk is still garbage. I was right. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.